So I got a lot of questions about how to uh, run this PS2 emulator and run Final Fantasy X and I realized that the YouTube video had been cut short for some reason that I can't understand and I can't seem to get the original MP4 back. So I'm doing this video as an update and we'll work from scratch here. So first thing first is to go to this link in the Pirate Bay which I'll provide in the description for the video and download the game itself to a torrent client like this. I'm already in the process of downloading it so don't worry about it. You just click yes if this does come up but it won't. Okay, so then you want to download a PlayStation 2 BIOS, which I'll leave to you. It's going to be got from this link, which I'll provide here. Click here where it says download for free. And then move on and download my emulators if you haven't already from Kickass Torrents. I'll provide that link as well in the description of the video. So once they're on, you'll want to go ahead and run it from the emulators folder. I have it on my desktop, it's more than likely in your download folder. Open this folder and run this program. This is the first time configuration, so the language is English, which is default, so next. Overwrite, if you have to. These are all the plugins I provided. Okay, the next thing I want you to do is go to the file that you would have downloaded from here, which is the BIOS pack. That will most likely be in your download folder too, so go there now. When you're here, you'll see it's zipped. So if you don't have WinRAR, you'll want to download that. That's easy enough to do. Just Google it, and then extract. Click Extract Files, and then what you're going to want to do is go to Emulators wherever you have it saved. Go to PSX 0.9, and then pick, click that, and pick New Folder, and call that BIOS. And press OK. Now go to that path that you just created, so emulators, BIOS, and BIOS again. And this path here is the path you want to copy and paste. Here, unclick this, delete, and paste. Really you see the list comes up straight away with the BIOS you want to use. So whatever it is you're fancy, I'm just going to go with your version 2.0 and hit finish. Okay, now, as such, it is working. Okay, so moving on to configuring the controller. If you want to do this, I use the DS3 tool, which I'll provide a link for. These are motion joy drivers, which allow you to make your PS3 controller that you can plug in by USB or Bluetooth. I'll do a tutorial on that soon. And then just set it for Xbox 360 controller emulation and click enable it. Now that the controller is set up you can go to the game controller panel and make sure that it's working by going to properties and just playing with the controller a bit you'll see what your buttons are. Okay. So this means now that your controller is set up and ready to work with this emulator. So minimize this program, don't ever close it go to config, go to controllers pad you're using a lily pad this is the default plugin, make sure you're using this don't mess with the plugins at the start these are the ones I have set up default so go to the plugin settings and then go pad 1 and if you just click these and press the button corresponding on your controller and they'll just go in one after the other just like that I'm pressing them now as I click Press the button on the controller. Buttons go in one by one. You should have no problem with this at all. Once this is completed, hit apply and hit OK. Now moving on to the game. So after you finish downloading the game, what you're going to want to go ahead and do is go to where it is. It should be seen in my app. Please see it. Seeding is always great for any any cause. So open the container folder, right click and open the container folder. Some torrent lines will be different layout to this, but this should work. So open the container folder, and you'll see you have a disk image, which basically means you have a you have a copy of the disk on your PC. So you see the path here, you're going to remember that path. So 
and then go to system go boot CD DVD full then find your path in my case it's Final Fantasy X in my downloads folder click on the disk image and click open This is normal. It's just as easy as that. So don't forget to subscribe and like or do whatever you people do now. And uh, enjoy playing Final Fantasy X. I still do. And check out my other videos and such. If you want a full screen, just, just maximize it.